crisp set now we are going to see in the crisp set uh, x such that uh, x belongs to the set 0 comma 1 whereas in the fudge set x such that x belongs to the interval 0 comma 1 like that we can represent the crisp set and fudge set with the help of these two examples in this crisp set we can directly determine the particular element directly belongs to the set s or no whereas here the particular element x belongs to the interval between the 0 and 1 so it represents the range 0 to 1 range the element is a partial membership in that particular set whereas in this crisp set the element is either belongs to set or directly not belongs to the set like that these two are completely differentiated with one each other between the differences between the crisp set and as well as the fudgy set. The crisp set, the element directly belongs to the set or not.